Hi everyone, it's me Sanchari and welcome back to my channel Simply Sanchari. Hope you all are doing well. In today's video, I am going to review the Lamel Clear Face Skin Clarifying Foundation. Now, I have already reviewed this foundation on my channel but this time I got one shade lighter just to see whether it suits my skin tone because the earlier shade is pretty dark and I think it could add as a bronzer shade on my skin. So, let's just try out this shade and if you guys are interested, then please stay tuned till the end of this video. So I've nicely prepped and primed my skin and I used my La Mail Oh My BB Primer. Recently I have been enjoying this primer. It does not blur out your pores but smoothens out your skin. No, it does not contain any silicone but it is very moisturizing at the same time and helps my dry skin to soothe out. Alright, so before we get into the application process, I would like to give you the swatches of both the foundation and personally, even I want to see how does it look on my face because you can see my neck is lighter than my face. So I am swatching the shade 407 medium tan. And this is the shade medium tan. And the next shade I'll be swatching is 406 Sand. Okay, so this is 407 Medium Tan and this is 406 Sand. I think Sand is going to match me well uh, because this foundation oxidizes pretty bad. So maybe this will also get darker. But the earlier shade 407 a Medium Tan is very dark on my skin. It looks very orange. And even if I use a lighter shade of concealer to balance it all out, still it looks orange uh, when I'm clicking pictures from my back camera so let's just see how this actually works well I can say that uh, this 406 is also a little bit dark so maybe I should go for one shade lighter now there are pretty limited shades so I still don't know what is my exact shade and the swatches are also not very clear so uh, yes so let me just uh, wipe this out so I have zoomed you in just to show you the application process so I will just take some amount onto the back of my hand and I will just dot it out with my brush and I will blend it out with my Morphe sponge. Alright, so this is my skin with one layer of the foundation and it has nicely evened out my skin. It feels pretty lightweight. It feels little bit tacky at the moment so I'll allow it to set on my skin, allow it to you know dry up on my skin little bit and it has a little bit covered these blemishes on my skin so let me just go with the second layer just to see how well does it cover and whether it looks cakey or not. So this is the second layer and you can see that it has uh, covered my blemishes. It still feels very lightweight even after second layer of foundation. In one layer you are going to get a medium coverage but in two layers you are going to get an absolute full coverage and uh, still the shade is pretty dark on me. Now I don't know which shade to settle for. I'm not going to get another third shade you guys because I don't want the same uh, foundation in three different shades so let me just complete the rest of my face makeup and i shall be right back hey all i'm back after completing the entire face makeup and this is how the foundation now looks on my face which is not looking bad at all so today for my concealer i used two of them one is this essence which i used on the inner corner of my eyes to cancel out any kind of darkness and this elf hydrating camo concealer in the shade medium beige to give me a lifted and a brightening look and to set the rest of my face makeup i use this la Mail compact powder in the shade soft honey which i'm absolutely loving nowadays and uh, the blush that i used is also from la Mail in the shade tea rose i have already done a 
review on this please check the link in the description all right so this is my skin and i'm absolutely loving it you guys i have clicked some pictures from my back camera i will post it here you can have a look it is not looking bad like the earlier foundation which is 407 medium tan very very dark on my skin and i have already swatched the foundation on the back of my hand which has completely dried up matched meshed with my skin so let's do a fresh swatch and i know that it has definitely oxidized all right so this is the fresh swatch and you can see the foundation has definitely definitely oxidized so if you are my skin tone you can settle for the shade 406 sand but if you even get a shade lighter you can go for it because the foundation oxidizes two shades darker and yes i'm really loving the feel of this foundation still it feels a little bit tacky at the moment but it does not disrupt my base makeup whenever i use any cream product on top of this and everything just went on pretty smooth my skin still feels very lightweight even after two layers of foundation and you can see i did not use any color correction today because it was not needed at all with the second layer it just cancelled out every blemishes every darkness on this part of my face and now it is looking pretty good i'm really loving this foundation and the shade is also i can make it work if i want to make it little lighter i can use a blue mixing pigment to neutralize my shade and maybe that way we can make it work also if you are an acne prone or oily skin type you can still go ahead and use this foundation because it contains salicylic acid and green tea extract which will help to calm and soothe out your skin and because this is an oil free foundation even oily skin type can use this because it is going to control the excess sebum production and also it is said to give you a solution for your blemishes which i already said that it did cover up my blemishes in one layer it just faded out a little bit but in two layer it just covered everything so i think this is a best foundation for any occasion for your everyday wear you can just take some amount dot it out on your face and blend it out because it is going to blend it out well with your fingers your brush as well as your sponge as it is very runny in consistency and it is not going to tug or pull your skin in any ways now because i had already reviewed this foundation on my channel so i'm not going to speak a lot about it because i just wanted to review the shade for you guys so that if you are close enough to my skin tone or a little bit darker or lighter then you can settle for this or a shade lighter or darker than this because i've swatched both the shades so you have a fair idea how both the shade looks on my skin so yes this is it for today's uh, review video of lamil oh my clear face uh, skin clarifying foundation all right you guys so it's a wrap for today hope you found the content helpful and informative if you did please take a moment to like share subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the bell button you can also follow me on my social media handles whose link i have mentioned it in the description box please come and say hi and i will see you soon with my next one till then bye bye take care